Here's the balance of his time. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized. I rise in strong support of House Resolution 1251 as amended, which honors the members of the United States military who died on D-Day, June 1944, during the Battle of Normandy. I want to commend Representative Ted Poe of Texas for sponsoring the legislation. The facts of the opening day of Operation Overlord, the start of what General Eisenhower called the Crusade in Europe, are clearly set forth in the text of the resolution. This was the largest amphibious operation in history. The first U.S. Army group responsible for the landings on Omaha and Utah beaches was commanded by Omar Bradley, known as the Soldier's General, and I might add a native of Missouri. In breaching German defenses, the Allied forces <clears throat> suffered more than 10,000 casualties on the first day of the invasion. <clears throat> more than 1,400 Americans died. Beyond the facts of the invasion, however, is the heroism and unselfish sacrifice of the men who carried out this most magnificent operation. Because of that heroism and sacrifice, the door to Hitler's fortress Europe was cracked open. So it's entirely fitting that today, 66 years after that historic day, we take the time to honor and commemorate the men who made the ultimate sacrifice on June 6, 1944. Moreover, I would also urge my colleagues to take the time to individually thank previous and current members of the armed forces they encounter for their service. I hardly recommend that and all my colleagues vote yes on this resolution. And um, I believe we have no other speakers. I would yield back uh, the balance of our time, Madam Chair. The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. The